Let's go to North Queensland now, where authorities are facing a mammoth recovery effort this morning after a plane crash in which a young newlywed couple died. Reporter Hannah Walsh joins us now from Proserpine in North Queensland. Hannah, good morning. So the wreckage was located in northwest uh, of that area. Take us through uh, the story this morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's correct. I'm actually at the air park where the young couple and expecting parents were supposed to land on Sunday night at around 6pm. They took off from a cattle station which they were working at in Charters Towers, uh, near Charters Towers, which is about an hour uh, from so southwest from Townsville. They were supposed to land at Lakeside Air Park, which is behind me, uh, which is in Bloomsbury, about a half an hour's drive away from Proserpine. Uh, they were supposed to land on Sunday night, but alarms were raised when they hadn't landed and there was no trace of their plane. CQ Rescue uh, went up on Sunday night and did several sweeps of the area, but was unable to locate the small plane. This triggered a multi-agency response on Monday morning where several aircraft uh, were searching the area around here to find this young couple. Uh, they found the wreckage in the Clark Ranges yesterday at around 10 a.m. It's been difficult for authorities to access the wreckage, uh, but the pair and their unborn child were confirmed dead yesterday. Uh, it's likely police have said that bad weather on Sunday had something to do with the crash. It is very difficult. The only way in is uh, by helicopter at this stage, and we're trying to work out a route so that we can get some vehicles in there. At this stage, we're looking at a, at a number of days, two to three days at least. Um, yeah, and we're getting some assistance from our local SES here as well to help us get through the terrain and set up up there. Looking into the weather will form part of an investigation by the Australian Transport and Safety Bureau, who have specialist investigators on their way from Canberra, Melbourne and Brisbane to collect evidence at the wreckage site today. And Hannah, what do we know about the victims? We know the victims, as with any tragic accident like this, it's when you start to peel back the layers and learn who these people were, uh, what lives they're leaving behind, and also the people they're leaving behind, that you can get a sense of the true devastation that something like this causes. In this case, it's 22-year-old Riley Kurt, 24-year-old Marie Kurt, and their unborn child. We also know that Riley Kurt is leaving behind another child, which Marie was a stepmom to, and his father is also a member of the Queensland Police Service. Shockwaves are also being felt further throughout the state, as we know that Riley had worked on several rural stations across Queensland, and Marie was from southeast Queensland as well. Uh, tributes are starting to pour in on social media, on Facebook, about the sense of grief that friends and family are feeling. Uh, Marie has been described as living her dream, going to live out west on a cattle station and live a sort of of cowgirl lifestyle so it's really heartbreaking and even more so because they were so young um, and Marie was pregnant. It does break your heart on so many levels. Hannah thank you.